The network shown here computes the product of the inputs from population A and population B. This can be seen by examining the value graph of population D. Notice that the range of values shown in D is quite different from that shown in populations A and B. As we can see, the value represented in population D is equal to approximately 40, which we would expect as it is the product of 5 and 8. We can convince ourselves that this is indeed computing a product by setting the input in A to a negative value and moving the input in B up and down rapidly. We would expect population D to have a function over time which looks like the inverse of that in population B. We can see that this is the case by grabbing our time slider and looking at particular instance in time. The way this network works is by taking the same network that was shown in the combination video here, so we have population A which is one-dimensional, population B which is one-dimensional, and the combined population which is two-dimensional. It then projects out a nonlinear function of that two-dimensional vector space into population D. This is analogous to the projection done in the squaring video. Here, the nonlinear function being estimated is the product of the two dimensions in the combined vector space.